with a performance that is sure to silence his critics, Ravindra Jadeja powered India to victory in the second one day international against England at Kochi. With the bat, he changed the complexion of the game completely as he came in the slog overs and just took the attack to the England bowling. And with the ball in hand, he added to England's woes. He increased the pressure and picked up two wickets. Well, over the years, Ravindra Jadeja has had his detractors, as one of the commentators pointed out. In the recent past, he's been subject to a number of unfair jokes. But with this performance, he has made a statement and said that he's here to play cricket. Now, at number seven, it's obviously being between the devil and the deep blue sea. You can come in two situations. One, when there's a collapse and you have to rebuild. And two, when out and out hitting is required. So usually what happens is, when there's a collapse, batsmen at that spot do not generally go on to build a big innings and may falter. It is only on the rare occasions where they score big and may revive the innings. But what happens when they have to come in the slog overs? Again, it's a high risk strategy and they may get out cheaply. In his 62 match career, Jadeja averages 29.33 with the bat, which is decent. And out of those 62 matches, he's batted at number 7 32 times and has averaged 25.75. At the first glance, that number may not look very impressive, but it is pretty good. If you consider the fact that for men who have batted over 30 ODI innings at number 7, there are only 5 men who average over 30. So it shows that not many can come in at that number and actually go on to score big. So the question is, do we expect a Ravindra Jadeja to be consistent with the bat? or be consistent with the ball. Well, at the outset, it's very clear that Ravindra Jadeja, the bowler, is what gets him into the side. It is because of his bowling ability that he actually gets into the 11 ahead of the likes of Rohit Sharma or even a Yusuf Pathan. So, it is his bowling that actually has to be more consistent. As a fifth bowler, he gives Dhoni the extra cushion should one of the frontline bowlers fail. And if one of them do, then he can bring in the part-timers. With Ravindra Jadeja out of the side, what happens is that Dhoni has to rely on the part-timers to bowl the fifth bowler's quota. What can be said is that Jadeja, the bowler, is who has to be consistent. As a batsman, he may score runs once he is promoted to the top, but at number 7, he may not get the requisite opportunity. So the bowler has to come to the fore and put in more consistent performances.